everything that you consume in the kitchen, you can start anywhere you want, your garden, your compost pile, but there's a, a cycle, a circle, or even a spiral, because this thing expands. But from the kitchen to the compost pile to the garden and back again. And if I could do that, and if I could do that with all my waste, my water, uh, take most of my water off of the sewer side, which I've done at home, I've split my water meter, I'm not paying sewer tax, which is paying for my water twice, and all of a sudden my water bill got cut in half. What happened to the, uh, to the other half? There are purple pipe systems, if you've ever heard of that, where the water, if it's not necessarily potable, but it's not contaminated or black sewer, you can use it to your grounds and, and you can irrigate. All of a sudden I've dealt with my water and my organic waste. I have very little stuff leaving my property, my little spaceship called home. And, and I thought, how close can I get to that ideal? And that's really what composting for me represents. <laughs> the worms are going around. Aren't those cool? You know, you can put those in a little Tupperware container, uh, some moist newspaper, there's your carbon, they like to eat that. Tip it just a bit and, th and then put your food down to that one side. Bang, they go down there and they eat all that. And by the way, when I say eat it, here's what I'm talking about. Put your fingers in there, conquer your fear. Yeah, play, play with the worms. Here's my friend, this is the compost jar. My compost jar lives on my counter. It it's like, looks like a cookie jar. It's ceramic, there's no holes, I don't smell anything. It's got a, a silicon seal. I empty it once or twice a week. Everything uh, organic goes in there. I have a French, uh, French coffee maker, no filter. You know, it's, you just press the, uh, the grounds to the bottom. When I'm all done, I pull that thing out, I take that water and swish it into the, uh, into the bucket with all of my trimmings. So my coffee cleaner's now clean, my grounds have gone to the garden. I didn't throw anything in the black can. I mean, I could put the black can in the living room. I really never go there anymore, except for Kleenex. I mean, it's, that's, this is my friend right here. I wanna, these are just a bunch of before and afters. I mean, little simple things. You know, there's some <coughs> romaine lettuce, avocado rinds and banana peels. I atomize that stuff. It's I call it salad for the garden. That's what I called it for the city of LA. This is stress relief, chop. Oh, chop. man, and I mean, I chop. <laughs> I chop lobster shells and I chop uh, corn cobs. I love, to, I love to break up these really tough ones. Pumpkin, you should have seen me with the pumpkin. I couldn't even put it all in the jar. I just said, oh, forget about it. I started putting it into big stainless bowls. I just took it right out and put it in the pile. Man, the pile just consumed that stuff, loved it. It disappeared, no time flat. Yes, yes, citrus in the pile is good. Citrus for the worms is not. Yeah. And another thing, we, we cook with a lot of chilies, and they're not real hot on that either. So I'm starting to think about two jars, <laughs> you know, one for my compost pile and one for my worms. And we'll get to, you know what's, what's really cool about the worms? Since I don't have much here, I have this one site where the guy's very exhaustive, but there's no pictures or anything. So I just wanted to say worms, and that was about it. But what's really nice is it's not only the castings, which are um, nutrient-rich, very silky, easy to add to house plants. If you've got a couple of potted tomatoes on your, on your porch, bang, you're there. But they also, the worm urine, they call worm tea. You can drain that off of your container. At 100%, if you spray that on your plant leaves, it's an insecticide, a natural insecticide. If you dilute it, if you cut it with water 50-50 and pour it on the roots, now you've got another fertilizer. It's just, we make or have the potential to make so much good stuff and we, and we don't even pay any attention. Okay, there's, there are so many outlets for worms, I can't tell you. I got these today, this morning at uh, Green Thumb. They were too expensive. You can buy approximately a pound for $20 off the internet. If you go to the two sites I showed you, the LA County site has smart garden workshops where they sell worms at the workshops. LA City has their 
uh, compost education facility at Griffith Park. And they have uh, links for places you can go to get worms on their website. I called a couple of those people. They're very easy to find. Yeah, and mine were $5 for a pound. Yeah. So, so yeah, th I actually haven't started with worms yet, only because I have this great yard composting facility. But now I have a need. And the need I have is for the worm tea, because I want to start that insecticide business for the aphids on my outside plants. And if I can do that without having to pay, what a, what a motivation. We had some red onions. Uh, my wife went away for a week, and I left a bunch of stuff to kind of spoil. Nothing goes in the trash. Everything that comes out of the refrigerator, if it's a little old or a little spoiled, if it's in a jar like old salsa, just shake it up, bang, it goes into, it goes into my compost bucket. Uh, these old onions, they didn't look so pretty before, but after, they look good enough for me to eat. This is a fun little picture. This I just took this one last week. What do we have here? Avocado rinds. There's some citrus, some limes. That's the heel of a um, celery. We've started eating celery roots. You've ever had those? They make great soup. Anyway, there's a lot of uh, trimmings off celery root, which is, a, which is a big plant. And there's some tips off that celery. Anyway, Adam, I, oh, these are um, this brown stuff here. These are some range-free egg shells. In fact, I brought a whole bunch of those today because I want to, we rinse these so that salmonella is not an issue. Rinse them and I just let them sit on the countertop. Go ahead. 